Well, I think Wapu Bay is mainly geared towards reaching an Aboriginal audience, but we've always worked at telling universal stories and making a show that was really accessible. And I think the comedy really shines through in this show and it makes it accessible to everybody. It's not just for kids, it's not just for Aboriginal kids, it's for family audiences. And I don't think that they need to be Aboriginal to be able to enjoy the stories that we're telling or to understand and enjoy the humor that comes out in each of the shows. So yeah, I would say it's, it's a family show, right? It's a family comedy, essentially, right? With strong morals and values close-knit family, close-knit community. I mean, these are things that Indigenous cultures share uh, around the world. Your father and I bought you a gift. It's a tube of lip gloss. <gasps> Sparkling strawberry. I love you. We've had a lot of uh, room to play, and some of the themes that we've covered on the show have to do with breast cancer and how T-Bear had to deal with the loss of his mother. Um, housing issues on reserve. We try and touch on certain topics that relate to Aboriginal culture. And some other topics that we did cover uh, was racism, um, the discussion if graffiti was really art or if it was vandalism was another thing that we covered on the show. Wapus Bay places the importance on, on keeping our traditions alive in, in a modern world. Like, uh, like hunting, fishing and trapping, uh, sweat lodges or ceremonies, uh, respect for the elders. I don't feel that it's necessarily cultural preservation. I think it's honoring your culture. It's always knowing that although you're walking in a modern world, you can still hold on to your culture by smudging, by letting your hair grow long, you know, and holding a lot of those ideals that we still hold today in our house. Well, all of the Whoppers Bay right back to the short film Journey Through Fear has been in English and Cree versions. The series has just recently versioned into French and uh, as well as uh, Anuktutuk. Well, Journey Through Fear was done on my dining room table in my dining room with icing sugar. <laughs> and it was plasticine, it was a true plasticine puppet. It looks like a good day to trap. Just wait. I've been trapping four months this winter away from my family and there's not much to show. I remember when I trapped with my father and in the south and every trap was good. After the animation was shot, uh, what we did was we sent it away to get processed and we wouldn't know what we shot until two weeks later after it was brought back and uh, then we can see the animation. The evolution to go from that to the studio that we have now today with 10 animators, the amount of computers that we have, the technology that we're working with, not only with uh, green screen, but the cameras that we're working with, the, the, the software that we're all also able to utilize to get the animation done in time and on budget is just amazing to work with. <laughs> 